Unlike a red flag, a yellow flag means proceed, but with extreme caution. Piercings. I remember seeing a video by Mr. Torian Walker. He coined a term called septum theory, and he talked about how women with septum piercings tend to display certain characteristics. You can be sure that whenever you hear a crack brain theory, it's usually being said by somebody with a septum ring. You think I'm exaggerating? Take a look. Septum ring. Septum ring. A pro-black, black men are... Septum ring. Are you getting the idea? So to sum up, septum ring theory is really just anti-black misandry glossed over with some seven-syllable words that make people sound good. And because the majority of people who sell this gibberish are melanated, it gives them cover. So they're not considered anti-black, and they can cover themselves with a veneer of pro-blackness. They tend to be pseudo-feministic. They tend to be disagreeable. They tend to be masculine. And often those type of women are sometimes divestors because white men are attracted to masculine black women. But again, this isn't a foregone conclusion because I've also met feminine women with septum piercings. But again, it's something to be wary of. Why do bulls have nose rings? Nose rings are not for decoration. In fact, they serve a practical purpose, which is to... Is this a woman who has a belly ring and dimple piercings and nipple piercings and clip piercings and dermals? It doesn't mean she likes attention. It doesn't mean she likes pain. It doesn't mean she's flamboyant and ostentatious, but it might be a really good indicator that she is. So it's something to be wary of. It might mean she's a woman who gets bored too easy. And that includes getting bored with herself. So much so that she's going to find the next part of her body to put some jewelry in because she doesn't feel shiny all by herself. She doesn't feel enough all by herself. So she has to adorn herself like a peacock to feel worthy. Now, again, how might that play out being in a relationship with a woman like that? Being married to a woman like that, having children with a woman like that. All these things that are cool and novel and stuff. My point is they might have dire implications. So pay attention. Cosmetic surgery. This is one that's borderline red flag. I would say it's an orange flag. For me personally, it's a red flag, but I understand. Some people didn't win the genetic lottery, as a good friend of mine likes to say, uh, legs up back. Some people might have had injuries to their face or just deformities that they were born with, and now we have the technology to fix it. However, I remember watching an episode of Spike TV's Mansers back in the day, and the question was, how can you tell just by looking at a woman if she is on psychiatric medication? The answer was, if she has a boob job. The rationale being that women who've had cosmetic surgery tend to have low self-esteem that might be accompanied with anxiety, might be accompanied with depression, negative self-image might be accompanied with a foundation of trauma during their childhood. So there's some grace to be had here. However, as a man, you're not Superman. You're not her father. Your job is not to fix people. Now, if you have the bandwidth and you know what you're signing up for, go for it. However, you cannot say later down the line, I can't believe that she still wanted attention. I thought that after this BBL, she would only want attention from me. I'm going to look at you funny. Father, I can make this right. By finishing what I started. What the? I didn't hear a fucking word I said. Women with cosmetic surgery tend to be of a certain ilk. They grew up with a certain body or a certain face, and then at some point it improves, and they want the world to know about it. And they want to enjoy all the benefits associated with it. On a yacht, in Dubai, in a thong. So again, something to be cautious of. Send this to your boys, have conversations about it, share stories. Father, send this to your sons, have conversations about it, share stories. And as we continue to elaborate on some of these conversations, my hope is that we can establish a strong and prosperous Black community full of strong men who are intentional about the women that we choose and the behavior that we reward or that we stay far away from. Thank you guys for watching. Leave it in the comments. Run these likes up. Hit the subscribe button on your way out. Check out some of the other content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.